Total War Warhammer 3 Patch 1.2 has arrived, with feature updates, performance boosts and bug fixes galore. Let's get into the biggest changes we can expect to see. Campaign changes. Lords and Heroes will now unlock their respective mounts automatically after reaching the right level, saving you skill points to use elsewhere. Our auto-resolve formula has been tweaked to reduce severity on hard to legendary difficulty settings, and takes its decision from your battle difficulty settings rather than your campaign difficulty setting. Based on player feedback, we have increased the aggression with which the AI decides to launch an attack against a settlement, speeding up their decision-making process for initiating sieges. Although AI factions who do not consider the player as their main threat will be less likely to send armies your way unless you share a border, <clears throat> wood elves, they'll focus a little bit more on defending their capital. Technologies for each race have been upgraded across the board, and finally, we have introduced seven new advanced units to the game, the Regiments of Renown. We will cover this free content in a future video. Battle Changes We've been working hard on the responsiveness of units. Some of this includes ranger units correctly turning to shoot a target behind them, and reduced delays before and after they fire a volley. There have been fixes made to units who seem to like ignoring retreat commands while engaged in melee, and a fix of flying units not correctly attacking single entity land units. Wu Xing war compasses and greater demons now have bound abilities rather than spells, no longer costing you winds of magic. Manual fire has been re-enabled in multiplayer, with attack cooldowns matching those of regular firing mode. And finally, every faction has undergone adjustments to their stats. Bugs? Be gone. Along with some crash fixes, we've focused on fixing the following offenders. Unbreakable units no longer rout when all victory points are captured. The Demon Prince's glory will correctly unlock the final stages of the Bloodthirster set. Slanesh can now dominate playable factions, and Demon factions will no longer automatically declare war on Slanesh's vassals. Ongoing fixes have been made for heroes and large units sync animation. The AI's ability to redeploy destroyed towers before the cooldown period ends has been removed. Artillery crew can now recrew their artillery machines after one of them has been destroyed, and battle terrain that is too bright has been turned down. Lord of Change units will gain experience in battle and campaign as expected, and offers to the Great Moor can now be performed when the Ogre Kingdom army is at sea. These are but a handful of changes you can expect to see in Patch 1.2. To read the full list of changes, visit our website.